What is going on, Charles Botenstein? So we are going to be talking about five ways to get ready for the spring market. Obviously, we're in a totally different marketplace. If this was last year, if this was 2011 to 2016, I would say that you are golden. Okay, you are fine. But this is the thing. We're in a different marketplace. So we can't just put our home on the market. Okay, we can't just list it. We can't just do what we've always done. We have to be very strategic in the timing and the photos. Is it staged? Is it not staged? How is the home look? Is it empty? Is it not? Is it partially, you know, and I'm talking about virtually staged, regularly, regularly staged. There's a lot of things that go into listing a home to maximize the price in the shortest amount of time and you find a qualified buyer because there's a lot of buyers out there that say, oh, it's a good marketplace. I'm going to enter the marketplace as a buyer and then they can't actually afford it. So this is the thing. Let's go into it. I got a couple of notes over here. Number one is you have to get organized, organized stock and certificate. You have to organize your home and we, we would have to sit down. And if you're looking to list it, obviously don't list it now because it's the, the worst time you have Christmas coming up, you have New Year's and then it's really, really cold and nobody goes out and the bonuses haven't hit and there's, there's still kids in school and the interns haven't come in. It's just not a good time. But this is the best time to prepare for obviously the upcoming year. So number one, get organized, sit down with the real estate agent and these are the things that you're gonna be talking about. Do the necessary home improvements now. What do you need to do? What are those small things that kind of irk you but you know, it's not a big deal. Those are big deals during open houses. When someone looks out the window and it's a dirty window, they don't wanna see that. They wanna look out the window and be like, wow, this is a beautiful view. Even if it's a view of a water tower, even if it's an interior view, clean your windows fix the faucet, ensure there's no leak. If there's dirty grout, whatever the case is, if there's minor mold, if there's patch ups of paint that needs to get done, if, the, if something isn't finished within the home, finish that project. This is the time to do it because once you enter the marketplace or once you, once you take the photos, it's not like, oh, take the photos, then we're gonna take everything out. No, because people are expecting furniture to be there, furniture not to be there. Get your marketing strategy down. Marketing strategy is how is the home gonna be presented? This isn't like you just put it on the RLS. You have to say, okay, who's probably gonna buy this? Who is the caricature that I can see envisioned in this right after this? And obviously it depends on where it's located. Is it a condo? Is it a co-op? Is it downtown? Is it uptown? Is it in midtown? Is it a doorman? Is it a walk-up? Is it close to subway? Is it not? Is it a, is is there is there a really loud bustling school or bar scene around there. Say it's on Bleecker Street and you just have a, a, a slew of NYU people and maybe someone doesn't want to live near that. You have to get the marketing strategy down and say, okay, these are the people. Do we need to show this with furniture? Because that's probably the furniture that people will, you know what, actually the furniture you have, let's remove that, let's virtually stage it. Or let's remove it and actually stage it. Staging it is very expensive, but it is well worth it if you actually do it correctly. Repaint the walls. Make sure that, that that shows up. Next thing I want to say, you have to be flexible in the time. It's really hard. I, I, I give a time frame. And by time frame, I mean I want to make sure that we have an idea of when we're going to put it on because it could get really warm really quick and then people enter the marketplace literally that weekend. Or it could stay really cold until April and then and you're literally normally missing months that it should be on. In other words, say March or April, end of April. But you have a deadline of Memorial Day. Once it hits Memorial Day, it's, it's not game off. Once it hits July 4th, it is almost game off. And by flexibility, I mean, you have to be able to be comfortable leaving your apartment while it's cold and or snowing and or rainy. So you have to understand your own schedule along with the actual market schedule and, and hopefully that aligns. You know, I, I was talking with an agent yesterday where we were checking out a couple of three bedrooms on the Upper West Side and my client, you know, uh, was viewing one of the, the bedrooms and walking around there and I, and I looked at the, and obviously, it, which we're going to talk about, different marketplace. And I said, how are you seeing the market right now in the three-bedroom arena? You know, it's a little bit slower. They have their choice of options, but there's still not as many good condos that, that would fit in this price range, you know, especially with doorman and things like that. And, and I asked her a question that was very interesting in her response. I said, do you see yourself taking this off the market and putting it back on? In other words, taking it off, say mid-December, putting it back on in the spring if you receive no offers. And she said no. And it was very interesting because it wasn't even like it was thought about. And that's the thing is that that's the flexibility an owner may need if they actually 
have a home they are willing, able to part from, because that depends on the price, but it's also the flexibility of you're going to have to leave the home for open houses and showings, keep it very, very clean during that entire time period. It's going to be very just sometimes it's emotional and whatnot and then the other sliver of that is that the actual marketplace really dictates it when the bonus is it when are people actually shopping how is the weather is there anything happening globally or actually in the united states that may have any economic effect on the price which we're talking about right now listen this is the the largest run-up of inventory that we've seen since 2010. it has been double digit numbers on the upper east side in the upper west side double digit percentage numbers i should say that percentage numbers of inventory entering the marketplace that's a lot that's a lot of homes and the reason that's a lot of homes because if there's a lot of inventory entering the marketplace and there's no buyers obviously economics 101 you have a lot of supply not a lot of demand guess what's going to happen to price go down and that's what we're seeing we're seeing prices either stagnate or go down and there's a part of me that actually thinks that this is this this is First of all, it's natural. It's just known as cycles. However, it's very natural because we, we were extremely bullish and very emotional pricing every apartment leading up to this. And, no, and a lot of them didn't even make any sense. I said, there's a lot of people that bought homes that way overpriced earlier this year, way overpriced last year, but it was an emotional decision. So we took that emotional decision and we then priced out say in the spring and in the summer and then in the fall and we priced that out and then this is what happened is that we used emotion and not logic so now when buyers are entering the marketplace they logically say wait a minute this is a hundred thousand dollars more than the one that sold last year or this is this is twenty five thousand dollars more than one sold two or three weeks ago how is that and we try and justify and we say well it sold three months ago and they had to go through the board process so it was actually a better marketplace there's less inventory but we're going to see this down arrow and the reason being is that it's we are now reaching a logical marketplace that's the best way to say it is we've reached a logical marketplace that we have to justify through facts there's no more just walking into a home and, and unless it's completely underpriced walking into a home and buying it immediately it's gone all right, so that's how you prepare. Obviously, you, the basics, purchase application, you gotta have the offering plan, all the amendments, the financials, have your stock and lease if you live in a co-op. Obviously, talk to the bank that you currently have your mortgage with. They don't really care because they, they ask for the, the call-off loan. And then the last thing is meet with the professionals. And the professionals, I mean the contractors that are gonna be doing the work, the painters, your real estate agent, make sure that you're dialed into the exact strategy and then obviously the attorney if there's anything with the wills or estate sale that that needs needs to get worked out and a banker if you're going to obviously go and buy there's a lot of things that go into selling your apartment and the the emotional marketplace is gone it's no more it's all about being flexible understanding the market hiring professionals doing it correctly getting your market marketing strategy in place and lastly is you got to get organized that's essentially what a real estate agent does is they, they they see the vision we don't get paid unless it sells so our vision has to work because otherwise we're not going to be an industry anymore that's how we work is that you really like what we do the price the way that it's done the experience and then you refer us business. That's our business model. And the last thing I'm gonna say with this is the CMA that we may pull right now is completely irrelevant in four months, five months. So in other words, the competitive market analysis is that the analysis that we do right now is, is right now, and then we could say, this is what we see. However, you have to do another one then. In other words, if you're gonna put it on at one one or a million dollars, or five million or 4.5, those are big price differences. It may not seem like a lot, it obviously does seem like a lot, but you have to understand that if it sits, it looks ugly and it's not gonna sell probably in next year's marketplace. So get organized, hire professionals, get that CMA organized, home improvements, get your strategy, be flexible, understand the marketplace, and of course, call us. All right, have an amazing day, enjoy your week, talk to you guys soon.